All right, so what's going on, everybody? It's J.A. It's the Friday show. Now, today is literally a party because we got sneakerheads celebrating worldwide as we got breaking news. Nike's current CEO will be stepping down. So it looks like in response to the big news, it looks like this stock has actually risen by almost 10%. So we're going to be talking today why everybody's excited about Nike's new hire. Plus, we got a more detailed look here at the new Yeezy I Told You So merch. So stay tuned guys but of course to begin i do want to start with some quick updates now first up kith they have this really cool loyalty program which i happen to not be a member of which today i'm super jealous because as far as loyalty members they actually do have access to this exclusive release which pre-orders do kick off today for the adidas kith clark's a street bw army now as far as this pair right here you infuse the classic adidas bw army upper with the iconic Clark's 8th Street sole, and you have a perfect mashup right here, I ain't gonna lie. They snapped on these joints, these go absolutely crazy. And as far as the Adidas BW Army, is this a underrated silhouette? Let me know what you guys think. So as I mentioned, pre-orders available today, and as far as the exclusivity, apparently these are only available for Kith loyalty members right here, so man. These joints go crazy every time I look at them. Now, in other news, Nike, we got a little more insight as far as their big holiday plans for this Christmas release. It looks like we are going to see a return of the Kobe 9 Elite High. So as far as this release, these were a Christmas pair. If you guys weren't around back then, um, these did actually originally release in 2014. So a cool release leading up for the holiday. Who knows if we'll see a low top drop release alongside these. And as far as these Kobe 9s, let me know down below. Are you a more of a high top? or do you guys prefer the lows personally i'm more of a high type type of guy myself and we see this headline which is floating around i did see this come from a local news outlet in charlotte which reads james whitner owner of popular social status store will not file a claim for nearly 1.2 million seeds from one of his business associates federal prosecutors say so i'm not really a legal expert or anything like that but as we do know previously you know, uh, Amar Manier or James Whitner, I should say, he's under investigation for money laundering where he's accused of like um, backdooring like over $32 million worth of products. So this is wild. Now it does read here, attorneys for Whitner and his associates asked for five, four extensions in the civil forfeit, but ultimately did not file a claim by the final deadline, which was on Friday. So if any of you guys know what this means, if you could explain to us down below in the comments, but as far as the investigation, you know, this was a huge headline a few months back. It seems like nobody really cares about it. Of course, we do live in the microwave era where everything just comes and goes, but this is a crazy story, especially with this headline popping up right ahead of the big Ama Manier 4 release, which will be going down to today which we're gonna get into here shortly so let me know what y'all think about this and with these quick updates out of the way let's go ahead and jump into today's releases which we're gonna go ahead and start off with Yeezy which yesterday we saw the Los Angeles archive bless us with a new drop which went live 3 p.m. Eastern so you had some Donda 2 merch which included this match t-shirt as well as matching match hoodie which it looks like the t-shirt came in at 40 bucks as well as the hoodie retailing at 70 bucks we also had a little surprise restock of the Yeezy pods now for Nike as far as their marquee sneakers app release of the day uh, that would come from Japanese artist Verdi who teamed up with them for a release on the Air Max Ashad as well as the Nike SB Dunk Low. Now as far as these pairs the Air Max Ashad actually was extremely limited coming in at just under 800 pairs and as far as the SB Dunk Low which seemed to me the more coveted of the two a nice playful take on this model, we had roughly just under 7,000 pairs available for this drop. So salute if you were able to grab any of those twos as far as the color scheme on here, I would have to say that this playful bright color kind of reminds me of what Sean Wotherspoon was doing back with Nike back in the day or whatever. Now, as far as Jordan brand, we saw them team up with Ama Manier for the While You Were Sleeping Jordan 4. Now, as far as this release, you could kind of compare this release similar to the threes, which if you wanted these joints, you could have got them as far as 
about this drop right here. It seems like a lot of people were kind of holding out maybe uh, for the sneakers app drop as we did see the Ama Manier release. Uh, as far as the total, once you threw in like shipping, taxes, it was running some people like 260 plus. So it seems like some people may be holding out on a possible sneakers app drop or could it be just that there's too many pairs that's dropping at once right now and you gotta pass up on some joints. Maybe some people will come back and pick this one up later on. And then we had the big release from J-Tips and Saucony with the Omni 9 to-do list or my to-do list, I'm sorry. So you had two different options. As far as my favorite pair out of both of them, I would say I'm definitely rocking with the tan pair. And as far as the hype on this release, it was definitely there as we see sellouts across the board. We saw these joints drop via Saucony as well as a whole bunch of other websites, but it seems like they were having a tough time keeping these joints in stock. Now, if you did happen to miss out on this highly coveted release, don't panic because I did see a few different websites were actually offering these available for pre-order. So I'll be sure to go ahead and link those down below and with all of today's releases Let me know if you guys grabbed anything or did you just pass up on everything? So we got some more detailed looks here at the new Yeezy I told you so merch as well as from my knowledge They first look at a new piece which I never saw before So all of this stuff was available to purchase at the recent listening experience And then of course we know they have another one coming up here scheduled for the 28th Which I'm assuming we're gonna see this merch make a reappearance but of course all of us are just waiting for them to load up all of this stuff to yeezy.com So at this moment it's not known if this stuff will just be exclusive for the listening experiences Or if this stuff will eventually see a yeezy.com release But what I do know is all of this stuff was available to purchase for 20 bucks Now it looks like some resellers have taken to grail looking to uh, you know knock us over the head with these resale prices So I'm gonna just tell you all right now I am not paying above 20 bucks for any of this Yeezy easy stuff uh, if you guys are paying resale for this hey you're on your own with this one right here but the cool thing is is that we do have a little more detailed look at some of these listings right here so let's go ahead and check them out so first up we got the I told you so jersey which from afar this piece right here would appear as just like a basic t-shirt but once you get a little more closer with the details you can see the polyester material with the holes and everything like that so we did see this drop in a few different colorways but of course you have the black version with the red font right here now next up we have the Yeezy Yeezy Crescent hoodie, which apparently is designed by Gosha, uh, Yeezy designer. So what we see right here is based off the details, it looks like the logo right here actually happens to be hand drawn. So that was an interesting detail that I wasn't aware of until we saw this joint up close. So I'm assuming that these letters actually translate to Yeezy or from what I've been told. And then as far as the little design right here, I'm just guessing it must be a vulture or something like that. And as far as this kind of like hand drawn design or whatever, I actually kind I like that detail on this so um, something else noteworthy to mention as far as this design or I'm sorry as far as this garment right here does feature a different hemline than what we saw from the previous Yeezy hoodie as well as like the cuff area so that was something interesting to uh, mention we also have the I told you so hoodie which this is the white version with the red font here also something noteworthy to mention as far as the garments we do see these were made in China so if you guys follow the channel and watch all the videos you would know that like I want to say a couple of months back I did mention that Yeezy no longer apparently would be working with LA Apparel for manufacturing the merch and apparently have taken their operations over to China so apparently these tags featured on this new merch uh, confirms that right here so we also have the black version of the Gosha Yeezy Crescent hoodie we also see some of the staff t-shirts as well as the two Don or Vultures 2 t-shirts which we've already went through um, now here's for the new garments which I've actually never seen before so this is labeled as a black dogs gosha hoodie which features that unknown font right here this is similar to the pants that we've seen yay rocking as of lately so apparently this is some unreleased gosha black dogs type of merch right here and as far as the fit and everything like that it seems like this has the same hemline collar as well as uh, the previous hoodies that we took a look at here so some updates to the new Yeezy merch currently all of this stuff was only exclusive for the listening experiences so of course we'll have to wait and see how things go hopefully eventually we will see a major yeezy.com drop but for now of course we have the listening experience to look forward to coming up on the 28th and since we didn't get an official live stream for the previous event 
I'm just hoping that everything aligns and we get a big easy.com live stream. Plus, we know Hype Williams in some form of capacity is involved behind the scenes. So I'm only expecting the best. So be on the lookout for the listening experience coming up on the 28th. And hopefully we will get some new easy.com stuff coming very soon. All right. And lastly, we got some big changes coming to the industry as things are shaking up. Now, a couple of days ago, I put out this little piece called Nike Thinks You're an Idiot, essentially chronicling all of the bad decisions decisions that their current CEO John Donahoe has made over his regime. So it looks like about a day after that piece came out, John Donahoe, he went ahead and announced that he will be stepping down. So I'm not saying there's like a direct correlation between my video dropping and him retiring. I think we all kind of saw it come in. Now, as far as his replacement, Elliot Hill, which upon the announcement of him replacing John Donahoe, it looks like the people have responded as Nike stocks actually soar, um, rising a little bit about 10% after hours so that is positive now why is everybody excited about Elliot Hill well he actually got his start with Nike in 88 as an intern working with the company for 30 years plus retiring in 2020 with his last position held as president of consumer and marketplace so this is one of those like grassroots dudes that got his start early on in his career stayed with Nike his entire career only to retire in 2020 when a lot of people thought that he would be replacing then CEO Mark Parker but it looks like Nike decided to go the tech route in which they hired John Donahoe and we all saw how that fell out so as far as his new salary for Mr. Elliot Hill Nike will be compensating him with 1.5 million dollars per year including annual bonuses as well as a stock and pair of cash grants totaling seven million dollars so not bad for the new position at ceo so as far as elliot hill a lot of people compare him to the previous um nike ceo mark parker a dude that like got his start with the company worked his way through up and all that good stuff so as far as this move it looks like nike will be looking to repair some of their damaged relationships with their retail partners they're going to be looking to double down on their innovation as well as continue to manage their retro and lifestyle Line. So I think this is a great move. I think in 2020 was kind of around the time when people started to notice that Nike was just dropping nothing but retros, more Jordan 1 lows, I'm sorry, more dunk lows, more Jordan 1 colorways, and we stopped seeing a lot of the new stuff. So what I would like to see from Nike is for them to like take it back to their days of innovation. When I was a kid, you know, I remember Nike throwing out like dropping crazy um, running models crazy basketball models so i would like to see them get back to that and of course not abandoning you know their lifestyle retro category that's great but what i would like to see from them would be for them to drop like new cool basketball models cool new running models and as far as their retro lifestyle category you know i would like to still see them drop the classics but rather than dropping all the unnecessary releases just drop the pairs that people want and instead of playing games with the limited availability just release more pairs that way people can get what they want and it will return in a higher revenue so we got breaking news john donahoe nike ceo will be stepping down it looks like october will be his last day and elliot hill will be stepping in it seems like everybody is really happy about this move and is nike back let me know what you guys think down below so as we wrap it up i did want to mention the poll of the day which ties right into this so i simply asked you guys do you feel like nike has fallen off so we had roughly about a thousand votes so far in which it looks like the majority of you guys coming in at 70 percent feels like nike has fallen off so it seems like the majority of people ain't rocking with nike like that of course we know they are leaders in the industry but it just seems like right now things are kind of getting stale and i think on the opposite effect of all of this we're seeing people just like trying out a lot more brands people have a lot more diverse rotation including asics new balance some adidas but still keeping things classic with nike and jordan brand releases so and we can't forget Saucony, which is a little bit thrown into the mix here as well so appreciate everybody that participated in the poll i did see some people kind of mad in the comment section saying that like only hype beasts feel like nike fell off and then we had some people saying that only resellers said that nike hasn't fell off because they're still holding on sitting on a bunch of unsold inventory so salute guys if you ever want to check out the poll you can always find it in the community tab here for this channel which we are going to wrap things up right here so i appreciate y'all if you did make it all the way you know to the end of the video you are super appreciated go ahead and drop a salute down below so i'm ja we got a great weekend ahead of us i will um 
you know chime in here if we get any major updates but otherwise i'll be back here on monday so hope y'all have a wonderful weekend i catch y'all monday in the meantime stay safe stay blessed i'm ja and i'm out y'all love salute